Hey guys. When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you fuck her right. Body look is unpolite. Don't be in the home of life. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go good tonight. All the hope she's left and right. I just want to fit in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top of the memory. It has been a fat minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at this angel. Hi. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. There's butterflies. I know that I'm supposed to not like these, but I've honestly always found these vines so beautiful. Look at my towel. Okay guys, I gotta set you up somewhere nice. I have a traveler. How have you guys been? It's been a while. I took a break from YouTube, I guess you could say. Let's see, life updates. I went to Coachella. I vlogged that, never finished editing it. Maybe it will come out in like December, who knows. Um, I have been going on little trips, going to the river, camping, hanging out with friends. I got a new puppy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, balancing act. Okay, with the punching bag. Is it cool? With the wood? <laughs> Anyways, life's been a tree. It's been up and down as it usually is. Recently, I've been called to slow down a little bit, check myself, reevaluate myself, reevaluate my life, my purpose, my passions, my time, my need for control, my need for the superficiality of being on Instagram all the time or posting all the time. Haven't been active on here, but I have been active on Instagram. <laughs> and I've noticed with myself that it's like, I take pictures just to post or it feels like any of my free thought time is spent online, absorbing other people's opinions and spreading my own opinion and I'd much rather like to do that in a content form like this where it's me face to face with a camera talking being honest being raw vulnerable and open so yeah um, I have just been kind of experiencing this shift in myself I used to be very stagnant in the summertime I used to get really depressed and feel very shameful for not going out and doing things and for not moving fast and for just slowly living and now it's like I've, I've come to the other side of I need to slow down I need to rest I need to evaluate you know what's important the important tasks I should be doing but socializing going out going to the river swimming Going out and doing that and living in that way has also been extremely fulfilling for me in a lot of ways and has been uh, really life-changing for me and for my mental health and has helped me to understand what I need. I need the sun and I also need balance and I always want something to look forward to so that my serotonin can be boosted and I'm like... I'm on a good level, you know what I mean? But sometimes I can also just get serotonin from more rest and from cooking myself a good meal at home or just like kind of chilling and calming down a little bit. I also have been paying attention to cycle syncing for about two years now. I'm just learning more about it. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I do know that when you reach the luteal phase of your cycle, it's your body telling you to slow down, rest more, eat more, have warm foods in your diet, tea, just comforting activities, comforting food, comforting everything um, to just prep your body to release. Being a woman is just such a beautiful thing for me and it's really a lesson of how do my emotions and how does my cycle sink in with the rest of my life and the rest of my being and how does each different time of my cycle affect me and affect my daily life and my mood and my
purpose for that day because I feel like you have a life's purpose and you have a purpose in your day you know what I mean and it's like finding that purpose of my day helps me to really root down in what I need to focus on for the day because I think that I can get really overwhelmed with the abundance of tasks that I put on myself and the abundance of what I need, what I want, what I don't have. The emphasis on what I don't have makes my mental health then spiral down. Practicing gratitude, practicing, you know, being present has just been really important. The point of this video is to remind you to slow down. It's also kind of a check-in video for where I've been. Maybe you've been moving really fast and you just need that call to action of hey let's let's turn the phone off it's really can be emotionally draining it can be a cycle that you find yourself in i've found myself in the cycle i had to delete my social media actually because i couldn't stop getting on my phone and it just made me blame myself we have all this media at our fingertips all the time how are we not supposed to access it how are we not supposed to use it you know what i mean and it's just a lot of pressure on like the normal day-to-day -day people when it's like it's pushed in our face all the time but having that in mind and also having your own your own awareness that you also are contributing to the problem as a consumer i think as a consumer we want to blame the companies and the corporations and obviously <laughs> obviously they're a big part of the problem but you also cannot take blame off of yourself because once you consume you become the percentage once you ignore you become the percentage once you avoid you become the percentage of people that are not helping the world and i've just kind of been more in tune with that and i'm like i just don't i don't want to be a part of the overconsumption. i don't want to be a part of over consuming products over consuming media over consuming food having a social media addiction having an addiction to the internet to food to really anything is it comes down to what you feel inside you lack or what the void inside of you is i feel like we all kind of have this void and maybe some of us don't talk about it but i feel like i've always had a void in me that i've needed to fill and not understood how i'm supposed to fill it up i'm like why is there this emptiness i don't know i don't really feel anything about it because it's just like um just an emptiness and I feel that I've found ways to fill it up with being outside, being in nature, hanging out with a friend that I can, you know, have a real conversation with or laughing with a stranger, you know, like these little things that as people we need social interaction, we need interaction with the world. We were not designed to sit in a box house on a bo <laughs> on a box with a screen and you know rot our brains all day it's not normal and maybe it's just you know obviously how we've evolved i don't know if that makes me happy and it's evaluating whether or not that makes you feel fulfilled whether or not that makes you happy i think sometimes a good like phone rot every once in a while is fine but once you're doing it every single day every single second you have to waste time that's how you're doing it i feel like for me it's like not my purpose and it makes me feel very bad about myself but it also makes me feel like my connection to myself is a lot more disconnected and harder to find once I'm kind of lost in this like media spiral. I feel that I found myself in this summer season of fast pace, fast paced living, having these like new bright experiences, meeting new people, going outside, being social, you know having that it's a very yang season and i felt very much like in my yang and my like divine masculine recently i'm now tapping oh my god sorry there's like a butterfly flying around i'm now tapping into my divine feminine my slow living i feel that um winter is a very feminine season and i say that because it's a chance for you to slow down get cozy, reflect a little, tap into your dark side, tap into your um, soft side, you know. It's
it's important to embrace how you feel with every season and embrace every emotion because your emotions are like seasons too. Living your life with the seasons, I feel like it, it helps you to um, connect to yourself again and like connect to what your soul wants. How does your soul want to live on this planet that it's chosen with its alternating seasons, alternating weather, alternating times, alternating moons, you know, everything like I feel in my heart that everything is connected. Everything that we think is separate from us is not. It's actually a connection. We think that because we come from different families, because we come from different places, we are different. Maybe on an ego level, yes we are. In this body, in this society, yes we are. On a soul level, I do not think that we are. I think that we have all come from the same place. Outside of your body is a different experience than inside of your body and where we are from. I just, there's like that avatar quote. I'm gonna put it in here. If you listen hard enough, you can hear every living thing breathing together. You can feel everything growing. We're all living together, even if most folks don't act like it. We all have the same roots, and we are all branches of the same tree. Oh my god, that's why I love the show so much, because it just has so many amazing things like that. We are all connected at the end of the day, and I think that's important to remember. I hope I'm not um, swaying too far from like the real like topic of this video, or the real reason of filming this video. I'm just kind of letting my words speak through me so i hope that makes sense um i just had this message kind of like channel through me in my head and i was like i have to film this so i'm really happy to post something oh my god i was just watching my old videos and i was like i miss posting so here i am we're back i'm gonna post more soon i swear i've just been finally called to slow down and it's helped me realize what i'm passionate about and it's this yoga, food, my health, my friends, my life. I'm passionate about life and that feels really fucking good to say. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Please like this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below if there's anything that you resonated with in this video and anything that you have to share on the topic. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And subscribe to me if you want to see more of my content. I will be posting more, I swear. My new album, Wake Up, came out in March. Please give it a listen. And everything having to do with my music will be linked down in the description below. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you later.